Today we're going to compare Intrepid Studios' Ashes of Creation to Amazon's New World as we attempt to answer the question, which one is better? There are many similarities between the two games, but also big differences. So many similarities that one might say one game copied from the other. First up, Node Wars. In Ashes of Creation, Node Wars will be 500 vs 500 PvP play with serious consequences for the loser. The losing side will have their node downgraded one level, or possibly even destroyed completely. Losing node members will lose items from their in-node storage, and possibly home, and winning attackers will reap the benefits. The node will also change hands over to the new management. Losing attackers will not incur a penalty. In New World, node wars will only be 50 versus 50, with 10 positions being allocated by the governor of the node, and 40 positions being awarded by random lottery to people who have signed up to defend the node. The attacking side will have a lottery to see which guild or company will lead the attack with the guild leader choosing who participates in the attack. Losing attackers will not incur a penalty, but losing nodes will now be under the control of the attacking faction. As you can see, Ashes of Creation will have slightly harsher penalties. This is because in New World, the city and fort are separate entities. In New World, it is the fort that is attacked while people go on living in the settlement. In Ashes of Creation, the settlement and fort are combined into one, so that node attacks affect both citizens and their businesses. Personal houses or freeholds may also be attacked for a period of two hours after losing a node battle. I'm going to give one point to Ashes of Creation on this because of their larger 500 vs 500 battles. Because I believe the lottery system in New World will leave a lot of players out. But I'm going to subtract that point because of Ashes harsher penalties. Node attacks will only happen once a month, but I don't think people will enjoy losing their hard earned things. It's really up to you and your style of play which game you prefer. Hardcore players will like Ashes of Creation's version of Node Wars while other players will prefer a new world. Next, let's compare housing. As I said just now, housing in new world will take place in settlements, while node attacks will occur at the fort. This protects your home from attack, but you will need to visit the fort if you want to do any kind of crafting. Housing in new world will also serve as a form of fast travel, and you'll be able to teleport back home from anywhere in the world. Decorating your home will come with benefits in the form of a leaderboard, with the best home being the one that is shown when someone enters the settlement. You'll also be able to gain buffs from placing special trophies in your home. In contrast, in Ashes of Creation, you'll do your crafting at home, and you'll be able to customize your home with different crafting stations, such as a pond, farm, or blacksmith shop. In Ashes of Creation, fast travel is only available in scientific nodes. It's not known if leaderboards or trophy buffs will be part of the game. In this category, I'm going to give the point to Ashes of Creation. Being able to customize your home with crafting stations is a huge benefit, as you won't need to waste time running back and forth to the fort, which may at times be under attack. However, I do like the leaderboard on New World, because it will encourage players to decorate their homes, and players who enjoy decorating will love it. Again, it's up to you which you prefer, form or function. Factions In New World, there are three factions, the Marauders, the Syndicate, and the Covenant. These factions are the true owners of the territories, and you'll be fighting node wars on their behalf. The goal is for your faction to control as much territory as possible while fighting off the Corrupted. The Corrupted are an NPC faction that makes life miserable for everyone. The Angry Earth is also an NPC faction. There are no factions in Ashes of Creation, and the story is driven by player actions. If you prefer story-driven games, the New World gets the point here. If you like doing your own thing, then give it to Ashes. I prefer games with good stories, so I'm giving my point to New World. Gods and Breaches are similar, but not. In Ashes of Creation, players will tell the story through their actions. They might unearth a dragon while mining, or a kraken while exploring the sea. Certain religious actions might anger a god or appease it. These things will cause conflict in the world of Ashes and write its story. 
In New World, breaches will be a thing. Breaches occur when the corrupted try to take over the world. It's not certain whether they are random or planned, but they are part of the narrative of New World. Breaches will come in different shapes and sizes that need to be destroyed as the corrupted will come pouring out of them and attack the surrounding area. Here, I'm going to give the point to New World because I think Ash's players-driven story will be too random and feel like there isn't a story at all. So far, my score is two points for Ashes of Creation and two points for New World. Invasions in New World sound fun as heck to me. There will be six type of attackers coming in eight waves, with each group of attackers specializing in different things. There's a good article about it on the New World website at newworld.com. However, participation in the invasion is by lottery. Ten people will be chosen by the Fort Governor, and 40 more positions will be given out in a lottery between everyone who signed up for the battle. Siege weapons and defensive weapons will be part of the battle. Ashes of Creation has a similar thing called Horde Mode. This will also feature PvE play with mobs of monsters attacking the node. Siege and defensive weapons also feature prominently, but at this point in time, we don't know very much more. For now, I'm going to give the point to New World. This may change as we get more info on how Horde Mode will work in Ashes of Creation. Arenas are very different. In Ashes of Creation, arenas are PvP, while in New World they are PvE. Ashes of Creation arenas will feature small teams of 1, 3, 5, and possibly 20 players at a time, fighting for control of the battlefield. While New World will feature you and a few friends trying to defeat a powerful NPC known as the Spriggand. In New World, you'll need to acquire an arena ticket by randomly finding it in the world in order to access the arena. Since I think New World has too many lotteries and is a little heavy in the PvE department, I'm going to give this last point to Ashes of Creation. So as you can see, the score between the two games is pretty close. And if you watch this video again and score it for yourself, you might come to a different conclusion. It all comes down to your preferred playing style. You and I are completely different people, so you might like things that I don't, and vice versa. If you would like more information on Ashes of Creation, including a look at the concept art, making of videos, and gameplay, sign up on the website at ashesofcreation.com, and please use my referral code. 2HQZCE9ALI 1TQ9W2. I'll be exploring Amazon's new world a little more in my next video, so be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.